we are a little bit tired of Taiwanese food. We love Taiwanese food, but we want something Western now. And uh, this is called Gusto Market of Taste. We are coming here to enjoy our lunch with the uh, Italian food. So it's like a residential area over here and then uh, you can have a food inside the market. These are the place that you can buy some of the wine, the ham and uh, Italian products like maybe pasta, olive oil and let's see the product items. So let's say if you like to have the Napoli tomato sauce, it's uh, wow, very affordable, $130 only. And then they have cheese. Lovely to see the cheese here. So hmm, let me see. Brie, my favorite. A box like that is only 190. So you can just like get some of the cheese board over here, made by your own, and then can enjoy some of the wine. Let's see. Uh, Italian beer. Some of the beer, mm, the beer here are quite unique. Those brands that I've never seen before, but it's gonna be like amazing for sure. Then uh, let's see the ham. It's beautiful, beautiful. I can imagine I cut, uh, cut slices here, then I can enjoy the bite with the wine. Okay, let's see the pasta. A big pack of the pasta like this. The angel hair is only 210 <laughs> Everything here is very affordable. Too bad I don't have an Airbnb come here to uh, cook the item. I would love to buy something to homemade at, at the Airbnb. We are here at this uh, Italian um, grocer and bistro that is nestled within the uh, a neighborhood in the Zhongshan district in Taipei. So uh, the overall vibe is, uh, it's I think it's very cozy. cozy, very cozy. And then, and it's like a market, it's like a yeah. warehouse, but yeah. they are like make full use of everything uh, yeah. to have their products to be freshly delivered to yeah, you. Yeah, it feels a bit like it has got that little Italian local vibe as well as that Taiwanese vibe mm -hmm. mixed together. Mm -hmm. yep. And we are here to kind of like try out some of the dishes that they have. Yeah. Looks and we really have our friend from Taiwan behind the camera. Joining yeah. us today. Not that we're going to order a lot of food right over yeah. here. We're going to try everything and we'll let you know which one is our favourite. So the first thing that we want to introduce would be the drink. It's called the Spritz. And I'm not sure because she just introduced it as Spritz. So it looks really refreshing. Today, Taipei is very hot yeah, and okay. stuffy. So I think that would be great for us. And of course, that uh, all Italian, when you come over here to enjoy a meal, you cannot miss out their cold cut. So the shakuchari board. And the ham, the cheese, everything. They very, arrange it very beautifully. Very nicely presented and then there's also this uh, basket of fresh bakes okay and let's toast for our drinks first um, hey. thanks for joining us yeah you can jump put your hand in if you don't mind hey. <laughs> hey. Cheers. cheers oh perfect for the hot weather mm, very refreshing yeah oh, i love it very much yes it's a very good start so let's try the coca everything and then we'll share with you that which one you should order so far i tried the cheese i love the blue cheese usually i don't like blue cheese can be quite smelly but their blue cheese is amazing i'm going to try the ham now sean is busy to post all the photo and video <laughs> oh it smells so good mm. And you're gonna pair with this. It's a perfect match. I really think that um, this portion is very nice, but you have to bring a lot of friends together to enjoy all this thing. While we enjoy the cold cut, they have this smell very good. Burrata, right? Something cream. Yeah, uh, it's very difficult for me to remember the name. It had the truffle powder on top. It smells really good. And I also come with a basket of the bread. So that uh, Order more wine, order some beer, and like chit chat with your friend here will be the perfect place. Mm. The next dish that we ordered is the beef stew. It looks really uh, appetizing and it comes piping hot. You it smells really great as well. You try a bite? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And then this is the next one I order is the sandwich, looks like this. And they have my favorite dried tomato, sun dried tomato. So when you eat together with the. Mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> the sandwich is just like, add on some of the sun dried tomato to uh, bring out the flavor. Why? Why? It's really just very flavorful. Really? And I think the tomato is like, it adds a lot of zest to this very nice oh, dish. Oh, okay. Mm. So yes. I think that kind of match the bread very well as well. Yeah. So if you are really tired with the Taiwanese food, of course that we still love Taiwanese food, but we've been here for 33 days already. We need something else yeah. than the Taiwanese food. Yeah, or if you are staying in Taiwan and you pray for some Italian fare, you can actually hop over to try their um, Italian dishes. The next dish that we ordered is a pizza that is rectangular in shape, so it's really unique. And then there's a parma ham on top, and then there's a spread of tomato sauce, some cheese, rocket leaves. How is it? I'm still Wait, eating. <laughs> you're still eating. Okay, let me try. I, I like the pizza, it's thin crush. Mm. So if you like crispy pizza, this is definitely that you should order. Mm. Because some of the people they don't like the thick doughy pizza, but this one is very good. And they bake it very crispy. Yeah, it's still piping hot. The weather is really really hot. My friend have got no appetite to eat. <laughs> but uh, if you want to bring up your kick to uh, have more fun on your food, so you have to put this on. It's their homemade chili oil. So uh, let me give you a try. I like my food spicy. So uh, basically I put a lot. Very spicy. You will like it. It will, it will a little bit numb of your mouth. But it's not burn your mouth. And it has a great fragrance. So uh, during the hot weather, you have something to spice up your food. You will like mala. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually really good. It, it, it is really matched with the pizza here. We finished everything, everything clean, included the basket of the bread. Yes. And included all the small little pickled. We love everything. So far, what is your favorite? Uh, I actually like because today is quite hot, so I like the burrata cheese with the tomato slices because I think that it's very refreshing not too heavy on the taste department and also uh, it helps to whet your appetite for the pizza and all the heavier dishes thereafter. What about your favorite? The beef. The beef. The beef. Yes, I also like the okay. beef. Uh, the soup, it actually is the intensity of the beef but they cook it very well. Yeah. Not too smelly. Some of the yeah, Chinese, some yeah. of the Chinese restaurant, they cook it and they leave the smell. Yeah. Some people like it, some people don't like it. But I like that one the most. I think it's quite impressive. Mm. Then everything add on the homemade chili oil is tastes very good <laughs> for me. I, I, I personally I like it spicy. I think the charcuterie board is also yes. very nicely yes. presented. Especially so, the blue cheese. Yeah, if you have like a party, you know, a gathering, I think that will be a very good. Mm. Uh, uh, thing for you to chill over a glass of wine or two uh, and beer mm. oh yes so we uh, are finishing yeah so, so we're going to end with the dessert yes. our friend is like already like drunk with the food <laughs> <laughs> we are very we, we done it quite well and yeah. this is the cannoli right yeah how is it mm. wow very intense and very creamy. creamy very rich mm. <laughs> Jimmy Maki you did that <laughs> <laughs> I like it uh, mm. I think it's a perfect ending for you to make sure uh, to order a, a glass of the lemon cello yeah. it will be perfect with this so if you are in the Zhongshan area in Taipei or if you are craving for something Italian after you have like exhaust all your wish list of Taiwanese food to eat you can actually pop by to Gusto Mm. And then, um, because I think that this uh, location is quite interesting. Mm. Um, it's actually just right beside the traditional market. You can see how the people sell all the bamboo shoot, uh, some of the fresh vegetable, a lot of the fruit. Uh, because that Taiwanese food is really, really amazing. Mm. It would be perfect for you to buy some of the local products, bring back to your country. Mm. Except you are from Australia and New Zealand. Yeah. And for Aviation Geek, this is an additional bonus for you. Lots of plane spotting opportunities two, over here. Two street away, there's an alley called uh, Plane Watching Alley. Yeah. Search it on the Google map. You can enjoy, you can just uh, take away the pizza and then like look at the plane. But hopefully the plane will not blow away the pizza. <coughs> it won't like... Yeah, I think the engine will not be that near. Yeah. <laughs> So we strongly recommend you to come over here. Uh, mm. I enjoy everything. Although we uh, order a little bit too much, but mm. I think 
everything that we ordered here we had is definitely a very good item for you to pick up the crave for international food in Taiwan. Yeah. So if you have been to this restaurant or if you are planning to come to this restaurant and you have like enjoyed your dining experience over here, leave a comment uh, in our uh, comment section below and let us know what you think. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.